And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oklahoma State is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Longhorns offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to lead, lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Pick up two on the pass play. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. Fires it out. And he hits him hard at the 44. The quarterback really took a shot after the play, and I'll bet that's what this flag is for. The defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First and ten. Ball in the 29. so consistently it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game from the 14 yard line first down tackle after a decent run up the gut stop at the seven. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Slings it. Brought down around the one yard line. Brad, it's, a, it's a first down. Obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going, and for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get, and that's in the end. It's first down, and they'll bring it up first and goal inside the five. Just outside the goal line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. This is the 10th play of this drive. Touchdown, Longhorns. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He makes the PAT. A nine-play, 62-yard drive. They put up seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven drill seven and not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback in this game. So our score, seven-nothing. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Field. He's 
pushed out of bounds to 37 yard line. They got to the quarterback a little late there. They're giving away free yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Cowboys had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes around the 22-yard line. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it 31. First down. Great job here by the defense in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up, and it's good. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. The offense will come out again, hoping to have similar results as their last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he has it on the corner. They bring the quarterback down. Second down at 12. Ball on their own 22. Texas is up by four. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Same ball. It's a punt. Ball for the fair catch. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. From their own 38-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it second and six. Made round 
the 47 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 47. when their quarterback gets hit like that. I would be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He lets it go. Incomplete pass. Joe Learning doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Texas is up four. Fires to his receiver, first down. That'll happen when you blitz the corner and the offense picks up the blitz. It's one less guy the quarterback has to worry about in coverage. Nice read by the quarterback to keep the drive going. First and ten. Ball on the 38. He's at midfield. He's at the 40. And he's taken down around the 30-yard line. First and ten after the big run. And they get nice yardage on that run. the 32-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They give to the tailback. He's to the 40. And he's leveled at the 49-yard line.
arm. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. From the 34-yard line, first down. Oh, and almost picked off. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. He's got room. He's taken down at the 26. We play one quarter. The Longhorns lead 7-3. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. play of this drive. Now he's scrambling. They bring him down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And his hands on it and drops it. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Well, the flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. Well, that's just too bad. They made the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you've got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. But the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. Second and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. And he is drilled at the 20-yard line. I mean, a turnover, of course, is a positive play, and a coach will take that any day of the week. But to know you've stopped the best their offense has to offer for three straight plays, that's a confidence builder. Signals for a fair catch. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Oklahoma State has a three-point lead. And they get 
the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He steps out at the 31 yard line. In the shotgun and five wide out. It's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Good outside run there. Baxter gains about five yards on the run. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Here's a run. And down he goes at the 45. And this play is number eight on the drive. The quarterback in the gun. With five receivers. Makes the first down catch. And they make the stop around the 34-yard line. The quarterback really took a shot after the play. And I'll bet that's what this flag is for. They're giving away three yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Gains about four yards on the play. This is the tenth play of this drive. Zips it to the back. Back 
tackle made at the 12-yard line. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Personal foul. Rugby passer. passer. Deep defense. He was a step too late, and he knows it. To learn not to make those kinds of mistakes. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He gets rid of this one. Mentally marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First and goal from the three. They're knocking on the door. They come out in a goal line set. Setting up the play action. Just throws this one away. 13th play of the drive coming up. And he almost has the INT. Third and goal for the lead. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. The quarterback went to one of his favorite targets that time. You bet, Brad. It's the big tight end who has nice hands. And he hits the PAT. So an 11 play, 64 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play on that drive. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 34 yard line. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They come out on an empty backfield. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. They work the right side, and there is nothing going there. Quarterback a little late there. Pushes the foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. So with that penalty, they'll move the chains. Man, that is frustrating for a defense when you think you've made a stop and then a flag gives them a first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. Feeds it to the back. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 29-yard line. First down. Quick pass. He's got him up in the backfield. 
A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. Concentration lapse right there. The coaches will be giving them an earful for it, too. First and ten. Ball on the 15. the uprights with the extra point. A six play, 64 yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. So the score now, 17-14. And he's tackled at the 24 yard line. The Longhorns quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on the team and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so that's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right, the quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the right running backs, the right receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to be a better track. Right now, when you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. He's under pressure. He's wrapped up for the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. So that sack leaves them a little ways to go here. It's third down and 13. Hands it off. The Cowboys call a timeout. That's their second of the half. The defense punches them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. Lanebourne awaits the snap. Signals for a fair catch. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. So much of the passing game is about the time between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Oh, man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. Oklahoma State is up by three. Cavalry's coming. Fumble. The defense scoops it up. Boy, the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting to the loose ball. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Oh, they really pounded him on that throw. From the 27-yard line, second down. What a play, and that is first and goal. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. Russell Collins, and he's level at the 15-yard line. Oh, that is a 
big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday. And they tack on three points. We played a half of football. Good game here, 17-17. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Locked up on the scoreboard at halftime and not really much separation in terms of who's had momentum in the game either, David. It seems that every move one team's made been countered by the other. Yeah, tick for tack. You score, I score. You hold, I hold. And, you know, this is uh, this is two great teams going at it. And that's what's, it's always fun to see the chess match go back and forth. And, you know, the uh, momentum swing one way and all of a sudden swing back the other way. But very rarely do you see it go back and forth, back and forth. And now we got it all gridlocked at the half. And it's a good ball game. And it's going to be fun to watch in the second half. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio, the best seat in the house. Belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. Great first half and a tight ball game. And we're set to start quarter number three. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 23. For Texas, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. Well, it's important to play well each and every series, especially when nobody can seem to pull away. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Makes it to the 31. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. First down there on a five-yard pass. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He fights forward to about the 39. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 39-yard line. Second down. Catches it. He's immediately tackled behind the line. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 38-yard line. it fly. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Robinson is the deep man awaiting the return. Calls for the fair catch. wonder any possessions but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. completes it but he can't shake the defense Whittington picks up about four yards with a catch second and six ball on their own 22 
to maybe the 39-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 39. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he's taken down at about the 47 yard line. thing down deep in their own territory. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. There's a strike complete. He's down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled at the 28. possession count. has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and to cause him some problems. From their own 24-yard line, third down. Quick 
throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop on the 36 yard line. Middle linebacker came on a blitz, which can be very disruptive. Sometimes a quarterback will get happy feet when they see that coming. Not this guy. He's very composed and can deliver under a pass run. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made at the 47. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. This is So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground again. Brought down at the 35-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. They're lucky he was able to hang on to the football. He took a pretty good shot. Here's the eighth play of the series. Two yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Slings it. And they push him out at the 21. They got to the quarterback a little late there. The defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First down, 10 yards to go. 10 yards to the end zone. He's taken down around the seven-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield, this guy just flies all over the field. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled at the one-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down, wasn't enough. Texas to take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away. And it's good. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Bowman with a nice play fake. He's got all day. Slings it. And this one's broken up. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throwing left. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Looks to him again, complete. That's a nice six-yard gain. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable.
Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. so far and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth 2017 Longhorn welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four the quarterback in the gun with five receivers Quarter, but that was a huge stop, and now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it, and they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He heaves it deep. Almost intercepted. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. Texas is up by three. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. From their own 42-yard line, second down. like what the quarterback is trying to do here by making a nice easy throw but sometimes the easiest throws are the toughest ones to make Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Fielded at the 19. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. it to the 32-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's got an opening. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 47. He makes his way to about the 45. That makes it second and two. And he's in space. They'll bring him down to 25. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25 yard line. Gets 
hit out of bounds. The 19-yard line. First down, first and goal. You're going to go play action inside the five. Here's the time to do it. And he tackles him hard at the three. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. On the ground, inside. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Sanborn awaits the snap. Signals for a fair catch. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack. Right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Oklahoma State is up four. That makes it second and six. From their own 49 yard line. Second down. a first down here you got to give them some credit but really this is more about the defense when, when a defense gets an offense to third down and medium you've got to be able to put pressure on a quarterback especially when they're passing the football and try 
to get your own offense the ball back. And that time they let their own offense down. They gained five yards there. This is good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back, the quarterback puts the ball right in the money for a nice game. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Caught out of the open. Tackled around the 33-yard line. About six yards on that completion. But anytime a quarterback sees zone coverage, this is a very easy and comfortable throw. There's plenty of room to work for the receiver. He's able to get out of his cut and get the football out on the edge. Less than three minutes in the game. Pressure. That's a great tackle at the 40. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. It's a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Strike to his receiver, no good. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. So here it is, crucial. 
Marshall. Third down as they try to take the lead. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. And this is the ball game right here. It's intercepted, and that should do it. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. From their own 20-yard line, first down. We have less than a minute to go. They'll go down to one knee. The Longhorns using their third and last timeout. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.